Good morning everyone. I've not done one of these for a while. Uh, I, as you know through the pandemic I've been making regular videos on how to use uh, little bits of technology to do with uh, video and imaging and audio and recording. Uh, so today is one of the same. I'm going to be showing you uh, top tips on how to uh, to use the new Vita, uh, sorry, beta version of uh, Photoshop to, uh, to, to rejuvenate old fuzzy black and white photographs. Uh, so first of all uh, what I'm going to do is uh, bring to screen uh, my uh, Creative Cloud Desktop. So if you're using Photoshop, you'll have this, uh, not a dodgy version of, uh, of Photoshop. If you've got the, the legit version of Photoshop, you can do this. And in the, uh, the Creative Cloud Desktop, you can access all of the apps such as Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Premiere Rush, After Effects, and so on. So these are all great, these are all fantastic, and they're continually updated with new features. Uh, but what, what I'm gonna show you is something that's in the beta version of Photoshop. So that downloads it as a different program. Uh, if I click on beta here, uh, what you'll see is uh, is the download button. Once you've downloaded it, then you can open the new version of Photoshop. So uh, let me just uh, bring that over here so you can see that on screen. Uh, and as you can see, I've already loaded uh, an old black and white photograph. This is actually of my uh, mother and father-in-law uh, taken at their wedding in 1952, I think, maybe 1950. Uh, so this photograph, uh, it's, uh, it's a very good photograph. It's a photo of a photo. So it's clearly a little pixelated. It's not, not especially clear, and it's obvious that it's been taken a long time ago. Uh, so what we're gonna do with this picture is we're gonna rejuvenate it with, uh, with color and make it much sharper. Uh, we're gonna make it look as if the photograph was taken this year, uh, not uh, 60, 70 years ago. Uh, so first of all, uh, uh, I'm just gonna select everything that's on the screen here. So the image is selected. I'm going to select filters and go to neural filter filters. Neural filters is a new selection of filters that Photoshop have added to uh, the uh, sorry Adobe have added to Photoshop, and all of these use artificial intelligence to intelligently improve the images that you have. Uh, so as you can see, it's selected already uh, two faces on screen, uh, which is great. And as you can see over here on the filters, we've got a range from smart portrait, skin smoothing, and so on. Now. You might think, well, I've seen uh, apps on my iPhone uh, that do something similar to this. And yes, you have. But they tend to take already sharp pictures and uh, make them fuzzy or make them more cartoonified or, or Disneyfied. Uh, and what we're doing here is we're taking a fuzzy picture and we're uh, intelligently working out uh, how sharp it can be uh, for, uh, for, for making a new photograph. So uh, what I'm going to do for this, first of all, I'm going to go to Colorize. Uh, so in Colorize, if you click on here, you can see it selected the whole screen. I'm going to switch it on, and it'll automatically add filters to uh, to bring in the color. We can change some of the, uh, the the functionality here. We can put the uh, the saturation up, obviously. Uh, we can make it crazy colored, uh, which is uh, maybe a bit uh, overblown. Uh, and uh, we can put it down. If you find that the colors are not matching accurately to what you think they should be, then I would turn it down a little bit, actually close to the center there, just below half is about right for me. So if I chose that there, you can choose uh, some of the presets uh, that they've already got in there and that'll show you a variety of different adjustments that you can have uh, on this image. But I think that's uh, just fine. Uh, if I change the output as a new color layer, then that uh, uh, shows you what would be put on top. So the actual color that's added to the black and white is actually this. It looks a bit vague there, but I'll just switch that off for just now. So having done this, what I can now do is what we can sharpen up this picture. So color is fine, but let's go and add uh, with the photo re restoration some sharpness to the faces. So it's automatically det detected the faces. And if I click on this, you'll see processing and device. These faces here are going to become sharper uh, than they were before. Look at that. So that photograph, in terms of resolution, looks as if it was taken this year. Look at the look at the detail in the hair. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite amazing. Uh, it's picked out that the suit is blue. It's got the sharpness of all the detail. Uh, look at all the, uh, the, the, the lines in the faces. Uh, and uh, there are many more uh, adjustments that I could do uh, to these. I won't do for just now because uh, this is just a short video. But uh, the photo restoration, so if I click on here, it's gonna save this as a new layer in my photograph. And having done so, I can then share that anywhere else. Now, I'll just take the uh, selection off of there. Let's just zoom in so we can see some of these details a little bit closer. So for a photograph that was taken in 1950, 70 years ago, the detail here is quite phenomenal. I think you'll agree. So 
uh, at that, I'm going to say thank you very much for paying attention uh, and uh, have fun with the Photoshop. Uh, before I go, if anyone has an old fuzzy photograph that they'd like me to have a crack at uh, 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 modernizing and uh, rejuvenating, then uh, send me a message on Facebook and I'll give it a go. Uh, so thank you very much and goodbye.